Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Justin. I'm Chris. And I'm Greg, and we're Team Innovation Thirst. And this is the Poor Master Pro, our entry in the Red Bull Creation Challenge. Here we have the Poor Master Pro, designed to fill any size glass you throw at it. Regardless of shape, volume, height, the Poor Master Pro has your fill ready to go. To build the Poor Master Pro, we took this existing kegerator, this tower, and we got rid of it. We built our own tower using the VEX Robotics design system. We built a rack and pinion system here to raise the carriage up and down. We had a linkage here to open and close the tap, powered it with some VEX high strength motors. For the Pour Master Pro, we used a whole bunch of different sensors to actually detect the glass and actually pour the beer to the certain level. So what we did, the first one that we did was we had to make a decision on how we were going to detect the glass and the beer volume in the glass. So we went through a number of options, different ultra, ultrasonic range finding, IR, different limit switches and different level sensors. We actually ended up with ultrasonic because it gives us the finest resolution on measuring the head of the beer as it goes up through the glass. We also use an ultrasonic sensor to detect the presence of the beer glass so the machine doesn't spill beer all over the floor. Um, additionally, we use a uh, Victor 884 uh, H-Bridge powered through the Arduino over PWM to control both of our motors, both the opening of the tap and moving the, the carriage up and down. And then we have a nice uh, LCD screen which will display the different states of the machine during the beer filling process. The function of the software for the Pour Master provides a critical role in the system's function and reliability. The first step that the software needed to uh, perform was to provide a custom interface between the VEX ultrasonic sensors and the Arduinos. Next, uh, a custom interface was written for the Victor 884 speed controllers, and next the, uh, the fail-safe systems were implemented. We've got limit switches on the top of the towers that are read, that are read continuously to provide feedback to the system as to where the tower is. This is a, considered a closed loop system because of the potentiometers and the, Ar the Arduino interpre interprets the potentiometer and the motor at the same time to know where the, where the tap is when it's in motion. And the last function of the software is to provide uh, an interface back to the user through the LCD. The software implemented is a finite state machine, and we give feedback to the user continuously during the entire process. In addition to the complexity of the, both the electrical and mechanical systems for the Pour Master, we also had to deal with the complexity of pouring a perfect glass of beer itself. There is actually surprisingly a large amount of physical knowledge that goes into pouring a perfect beer. For instance, you need a perfect three-quarter inch head for a beer to be considered a perfect pour. You also need to be able to ensure that the beer does not foam over the top of the glass when the beer is closed off from the tap. We did use several standard beer pouring apparatus for the Pour Master Pro but integrated it into this system. A standard tap, for instance, with its tap handle removed, a standard kegerator and gas system. Now, I mentioned the gas system because you also have to calibrate that very precisely for that perfect beer to be poured. Here we have a custom VEX gear linkage controlling the tap mechanism, turning the handle on and off, controlling the flow of beer. Here we have our cup limit sensor which detects the height of any glass we decide to stick under the Pour Master Pro. Here is an ultrasonic transducer which allows us to sense the level of beer and head rising in the glass. Here are two high strength VEX motors driving the tower up and down depending on the glass size. Here we have custom circuitry controlling our power and fusing for the entire Arduino and VEX powered system. 
Here we have a LCD readout displaying many different states that the system encounters. Here we have our Arduino microcontroller board with all the various inputs and outputs required by the Poremaster Pro. Here we have up and down limit switches which act as safeguards for the rising and lowering tower of the Poor Master Pro. Here we have an ultrasonic transducer sensing whether a cup is placed in front of the unit. Here we have LEDs allowing the user to see whether the system is on and understanding the state of the system. 